Pre-2019, this film was only available in 4x5 large format. However, with the rise of medium format and 35mm shooters, Ilford released this in these formats as well. Thank you, Ilford. This is an orthochromatic black and white film which offers fine grain and sharpness. Ilford recommend using it for landscapes, so naturally I started to shoot in the urban jungle. What is orthochromatic film, I hear you cry. This film is made with silver halide crystals which are naturally blue sensitive. They first came out back in 1873 and were used in early films and movies. This is the reason why skies in the early photographs are almost white, being blue, as they're overexposed quite easily. The orthochromatic film cannot see red light as well, so anything red will turn black. This also means that if you process the film at home, it can be handled with deep red safe light. As it is a low grain, high detail film, it needs a lot of light. Ideally suited for landscape photography, as Ilford had recommended themselves, it's well worth shooting portraits with this as well I think. If you enjoy developing at home or in your own lab, the blue and green sensitivity of this emulsion enables the film to be handled in deep red safe light conditions, as I mentioned earlier, making the processing and inspection of this film a lot easier. Also, due to its lack of red sensitivity, any reds and oranges in your composition are going to be rendered darker with strong contrast than the standard panchromatic films, such as all the other Ilford and Kentmere films that are out there on the market. Can you shoot Ilford Author 80 at box speed? Absolutely. This film is DX coded for ISO 80 for daylight and natural light shooting conditions. I do love working with black and white film and you will find working with this film very satisfying too. It can produce very sharp, detailed images with almost no grain in sight. You can use this film for portraits or landscapes, so take your pick. I was shooting this film in some overcast conditions which gave a wonderful natural softbox. Ideally, however, I would have preferred to have had a little bit stronger light as I did struggle with the very low light conditions in some of these images. Five reasons you should shoot with this film. Number one, you enjoy shooting sharp images with no grain. Two, you're a creative and love shooting black and white. In particular, you want your reds and oranges in frame to come out pitch black. Think of all the oranges and reds that could come out black in your style of photography. Three, you love working with shadows and contrasts, particularly with skies. Four, you love or travel somewhere you have wonderful light and colours available to you. And fifth, you're a creative and you just want to keep exploring and deepening your own photographic journey. Why you should not shoot with Ilford Ortho 80. It is an ISO 80 film which makes it one of the slowest films available on a very limited film market in the first place. If you live somewhere like the Mediterranean then this should not be a problem for you but those of you who live in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere it won't give you the flexibility that say an ISO 200 or 400 film will give you in your varied climactic and weather conditions. You also need to take into account that your oranges and reds are going to come out very black too. 
Now remember that this is an orthochromatic black and white film, which makes it less sensitive to red than to green and blue. And as such, you need to be aware that probably this is not going to be ideal for portraits, but it will likely give you some unique looks for landscapes and for flowers. What can you take away about Ilford Ortho 80? Obviously, I shot this film in the street down the East End and would be intrigued to see how this would perform in autumnal conditions, to see how the colours of the leaves would be rendered in black and white, as well as shooting it in a studio portrait shoot to see how it fares with skin tones as well as with, say, red lipstick. Shooting very blue walls in some of these images you've seen, the whites came out absolutely electric. It'll be interesting to see whether this could add a new element to work with. And I wonder how this would fare with bright blue sky. With that in mind, I wonder how a sunset would also come out too. The oranges would certainly come out quite black, so theoretically it could create some very dramatic images. Shooting in tungsten light? Now that would be something else. Overall, this film pushes you as a photographer to think details, which is excellent. The more you're pushing yourself to create using different techniques and mediums will develop not only your portfolio, but also your understanding of working in different conditions and with different materials. Who knows, you may capture an image which may take you down a new path of creativity, so just get out and explore. I absolutely love shooting with this film and would love to hear your thoughts on Ortho 80. Have you shot with it? What kind of results did you get with it? Let me know in the comments below. Right, I'm off to my next shoot. Catch you on the next video on the right here. See you soon.